Embedded Checkout allows you to sell tickets directly from your website with no redirect to eventbrite.com. It's important to us that your attendees purchase experiences friction-free and with Eventbrite's embeddable checkout widgets, you can meet your buyers where they are with the added bonus that they won't leave your site to make a purchase. Embedded Checkout allows easy conversion and fewer clicks to purchase. In addition, purchases made from these widgets are tracked in your Eventbrite analytics reports, which we'll cover in today's demo. So we've talked about what Embedded Checkout is. Let's move on to determining if it's a good fit for your event. Here are some criteria you'll need to bear in mind if you'd like to utilize this feature. Your Eventbrite account must be opted into a professional or premium package. The event must be collecting in one of the following supported currencies, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Euro, Great Britain pound, Hong Kong dollar, New Zealand dollar, Singapore dollar, US dollar, Mexican peso or Argentinian peso. Your website will also need an HTTPS security certificate. To use our new embedded checkout, your website has to follow the latest security standards and must serve pages over HTTPS encryption. I'll also add that our product and engineering team is currently working to reduce the number of unsupported features that might disqualify you from using checkout, like will call or legacy merchandise and I recommend visiting the Eventbrite Help Center for a comprehensive list. When your event is built and is in a published state, you'll be able to pull the checkout embed code to be placed on the back end of your site. First, you'll need to navigate to the event dashboard, which is sometimes referred to as the Manage tab. Once there, you'll head to Invite and Promote, and you'll select Website Integrations. Before you pull the embed code, you can determine if you'd like the checkout modal to be shown on your site as a button, which when clicked opens the modal over the top of your content, or you can choose an embedded iframe. Next, simply head to the embed code section and copy, ready to be added to the back end of your site. If you need assistance with making updates to your website, you'll need to head to their support center for guidance. I'll pause and make a couple of notes here. You can update the height of the iframe, or if you choose to use a button, you can update the name of the button within the code if necessary. Something else I'll add is if you use wordpress.org to host your site, you might need to enable the raw HTML plugin or disable Gutenberg editor, which happens over on WordPress and not Eventbrite. That said, there are comprehensive guides both on the Eventbrite Help Center and on wordpress.com support. Once checkout has been successfully added to your website, I highly recommend testing the full end-to-end -end purchase experience to determine if you'd like to optimize or make updates to your event. You can bypass making payment for a ticket by creating a promo code or a hidden free ticket plus access code. Lastly, when you begin to see ticket sales come in for your event, you can track how various sales channels are performing. For a high level overview of overall attendee traffic, you can use the analytics tool, which sits under the analyze tab. If you'd like to understand where a specific attendee transacted, you can hit event reports and select the attendee summary. Just ensure that you've checked the affiliate checkbox. And if you review that within your reporting, if you take a look at this specific tag, you'll be able to determine that they transacted directly on your website. For additional detail around advanced tracking options, or if you have questions about this content, you can definitely leverage Eventbrite's help center, eventbrite.com support.